Rachel, you set this for us. Hello, fellow couch potatoes. Welcome to my channel. Let's get to today's video. Sinead's plans fail and a new villain emerged. Let's recap week 6, 10 biggest moments, storylines and takeaways. Starting with number 10, Sinead's plan. The dreaded two-on-one date started the episode and Genevieve was quick to tell Clayton that the situation has not been easy for her but that she's been really trying to be vulnerable. Shanae used her time to tell Clayton that Genevieve had been saying that she wanted to go home. She pulled out the waterworks, called Genevieve two-faced before claiming that Genevieve had actress vibes. That's the game. Just, you just said actress vibes. Do you feel like she's acting? Shanae believed that her planned conversation with Clayton went well. Clayton didn't see it that way. Clayton then confronts Genevieve about supposedly being an actress. Genevieve was stunned and Shanae was laughing. <laughs> as Genevieve and Clayton were dumbfounded. Clayton stepped away and Shanae revealed to Genevieve that she told him she had thought Genevieve wanted to go home. Although fuming with anger, Genevieve keeps her cool. Bitch, you better be joking. Clayton returns and awards the rose to Genevieve for helping him see the truth. Thank you. And Shanae's reign as the villain comes to an end. Is this a joke? What a follow rules. I make that. At the rose ceremony, Clayton told the woman that he hoped Shanae's departure allowed them to turn over a new leaf. Clayton then had good convos with Sarah and Rachel, cementing their places at the head of the pack. Serene angered Mara by interrupting her time with the bachelor. Hi. Clayton handed out roses to everyone except Hunter and Marlena before telling his remaining woman that they were heading to Croatia. Teddy and Clayton spent their one-on-one -on -one exploring Croatia together, making wishes into a fountain, walking around and getting ice cream. At the evening portion of their date, Teddy told Clayton that she's a virgin. Don't know what to say to that. She said she wasn't waiting for marriage to have sex. Teddy said she did plan to wait until she was in love, something she'd yet to experience. Clayton wasn't faced by Teddy's confession, even telling the cameras it is exciting to know that he could be Teddy's first love and um first bang. What a the bollocks. group dates got underway next as the woman participated in a set of quests led by a knight. Serene and Mara went all in on the eating challenge but Serene walked away as the victor. The woman next had to kneel in front of Clayton and confess their feelings and despite a poem from Mara, Serene won that challenge too. At the after party, Rachel got real about her feelings for the bachelor. Rachel was the first to tell Clayton she's falling for him, giving him more than enough validation to keep her safe another week. His good mood was short-lived as Mara continued to grow more and more frustrated by the lack of attention she'd received from Clayton. The root of the problem was revealed next when Mara, the oldest in the house, complained that Sarah, the youngest in the house, had landed a second one-on-one -on -one date. Jealous much? Mariana Grande, and if that's not interesting enough, don't talk to me. Mara is firm in her belief that the others aren't wife material. So you are? Mara felt defeated when Clayton awarded Rachel the group dead rose. It became personal with Karma. me. Later that night, a note slips under Clayton's door that reads, Meet me at the clock tower. Once he arrived, he was delighted to find Susie there waiting for him. They climbed the beautiful tower together and Susie was quite the surprise for him at the top. She wanted to bring him there to share where she's at and how she's feeling. And that feeling is love. Perfect. He is ecstatic at her confession and could see himself falling in love with her as well. I like, I like, I love. The night comes to a fairy tale end as they share a kiss and enjoy the gorgeous view. 
Ahead of Sarah's one-on-one -on -one date, Mara's words got into Clayton's head. Clayton told host JC Palmer about his conversation with Mara. On the date, Clayton brought up his concern that she may not be ready for marriage, something Sarah tearfully denied. She became emotional and says she hasn't lied to him all season, confessing that their connection has been something she's never felt with anyone before. Clayton apologizes for making her upset. He in turn confesses his fears of losing what he's looking for and decides to step away for a second. Mara's insecurities are jeopardizing Sarah's relationship with Clayton. It's the maturity, Mara. Aren't you the oldest in the house? Clayton and Sarah reconcile as Clayton apologizes for potentially putting a target on her back with the second one-on-one -on -one date. And luckily for him, she forgives him and ends the night with a rose. Sarah returns to the others, ready to stand up for herself. Karma is a bitch, she says. What do you think is the acceptable minimum age for marriage, Couch Potatoes? Let me know in the comment sections below. Until next time, see you soon.